Hi, this Gephi tutorial is for a dynamic network or temporal network. Uh, I'm going to using data for this paper. Uh, est estimating potential infection transmission routes in a hospital wards using wearable proximity sensors. Uh, you can get more information on the data uh, below this video clip. Mm. Data were collected from a hospital in France. The data describes uh, contact patterns among doctors, nurses, patients, and administrative staff in the hospital. Um, the time unit is 20 seconds. Right here. So the paper examines how many and what kind of contacts happens for every 20 seconds. The data covers from 1 p.m. December 6, 2010 to 2 p.m. December 10. Uh, now, let's make a dynamic network using GAPI. First of all, go to Data Laboratory and then import a spreadsheet for nodes. Here, I have node CSV file. Click. And this nodes table, and this ID and status, and go click next. And then we're gonna use uh, interval. They are, they uh, it has two options. One is timestamps, another one is intervals. Timestamps is about exact time. Some some events happen that exact time on the on that exact times. In that case, we're going to use timestamps. For example, Twitter. In Twitter case, we're going to use uh, timestamps. But our our data is about intervals. So we're going to use intervals. And finish. Mm. So let's choose this one. We don't need new workspace. And OK. Next one, we gonna import edge files. Click here, import spreadsheet and edge file. And this edge table, next. And source target in here, and next. And intervals, and then that's okay. Maybe you can change the double, but it's okay finish and then we don't need new workspace and click here and directive okay um, our focus is on contact over time in other words dynamics of edges so we have time columns in here the the edge tables so next thing is uh, we need to come we need to merge these two time columns for one interval uh, column for for this click merge column and time start time end and click this one and columns to merge and then in the merge street streetage click and here create time interval click ok and then time start and and the time column will be time end so uh, we don't have to choose these two things because our time column is just numeric so just choose this one this one and ok so we can have an interval column like here. Now uh, we need to move to overview. Click here. So we have some uh, network. So for visualize, visualizing, we choose nose partition here and click choose attribute. We have status. Status we have Four status, nurse, patient, doctor, administrative step, step, and click here. So we have different color here. 
and apply okay. and then let's choose let's change size open nodes here so in this case maybe let's choose degree degree and then the mini, uh, minimum size 30 maximum size 200 and for dramatical changes we change this option to click here uh, let's think about this one and click here if you want other option you try to use other things but for my case this one is more this one can make more dramatic changes so choose apply okay so next one is let's change layout so i'm gonna choose uh fruit fruit torment rain gold so i hope i pronounce correctly so um, in this case uh we have three functions one is area gravity speed area is the size of uh network gravity is the full the, the the networks to the center the speed is some opposite to gravity it's kind of some some push some nose uh, from the center so let's choose uh, this one and this one okay and then uh, Let's keep the long layout, layout. And for dynamics, click enable timeline. Click here. You can find some time windows from from here. This this end this all is cover all time window. So we got it. To narrow the time window like here, and then. We can find this dynamics of network and uh, I just click this narrow arrow we can find this kind of animation but you may you may think this is very is not good for visualizing because this nose is always same size look here just moving but same size so because we need to change this option look here uh click here auto apply it means it will change the size uh, over time look here this now is much better as explained uh, this data is of the are uh, about uh, infection transmission so we need some uh, particular person's information so for this we choose um, here click here the label and then Yes, we need ID and OK and then size is yeah that's good so a little bit bigger size so here so we can uh, figure out the the, uh, the the ID of this person so this this uh, green is is so nurse it's nurse 1,295 so this does have uh, more degrees than others and uh, let's look at the this time window if you click this one there are some three options one is set custom bounds look here this is minimum and maximum these are our time window bounds and this interval so Maybe you can change the 
this time window size uh, using this one. So maybe if you want, um, start from 120 and let's have like this. We have this kind of, uh, this size of uh, the time window and then the set play setting. So maybe if you think this is too fast, so let's change this one and it's move slowly like this and also if you want uh, step size me maybe just just change 10 percent okay it's moving like this one so it's up to you and let's change just one Now let's analyze the, this our data. So as you can see, this one unit here, this are uh, about three hours. So this from 1 p.m. and this is 4 p.m. and this is 7 p.m. So you can see the the dynamic patterns of context in the hospital like here so this is at, at night so yes you can see just small context but over time is lots of context because in the morning and this is maybe probably almost daytime it's daytime so more context so you can see the the what uh which person have more context and here this is nurse and the, the purple is patient so this one is doctor so we can track the the loose roots of uh, the infection transmission with this dynamic network and like this one so this probably this is not at night there's no contact between individuals and small contact of time and then let's look at the st statistics the statistics in here this dynamic statistics as if you run this one you can get notes but we uh, in our case uh there's no changes in number of nodes but edges but will be many changes uh, look at here the edge number is 1369 but over time it changes and then oh time range we have uh, 32,424 edges in here so if you uh, click here cost, uh, clustering coefficients we can get every time uh, clustering coefficient but uh, it takes a uh, long time because we have lots of edges but if you use this one we can have we can have a good time series data set and then you can export the data set from the here like like here, like some so using export table so we can analyze the clustering coefficients or some changes edges uh, changes of degree over time and then you can analyze the the context of the hospital so this end of the dynamic network tutorial and next time um, I plan to make tutorial for some some more, more complex uh, time switch network. Uh, it will be more interesting. Thank you.